What happens when you retrain your brain to become positive? Good morning and welcome to a Friday with a piece of Pippa. As I've been looking this week about reading and knowledge that we get, what are you putting into your brain that's helping you get along? I picked up a book this morning, Becoming a Woman of Purpose. That was one. In the past, I don't think I finished this book, but I read this book, Adamant by Lisa Bavia. And I have I haven't finished that book yet, but I have read Redeeming Love which is an amazing love story but a, by a Christian author. And then there's The Lineage of Grace by Francine Rivers. I love Francine Rivers. And then um, just what you're putting into your knowledge, thank you, what you're putting into your knowledge, into your head, gives you what you're thinking and the way forward. I read something this week, Eight Habits with that damage your brain, staying in the dark too much, consuming too much negativity, news, social isolation, blasting your headphones on full volume, poor sleeping habits, barely moving throughout the day, too much screen time, consuming too much sugar. Well, I could look relate to some of those and I could modify some of what my children do. Then there's six natural ways to boost your brain power. Learn something new. Take cooking classes or try a new hobby like painting. Solve a puzzle. Try doing crosswords that I don't enjoy. Reduce stress. Engaging in your favorite luxury activity to get into a relaxed state of mind. Just sit praying or meditating. Sitting outside reading a book, clearing your head, looking at the nature. Read a book, exercise, get your heart pumping and take in a walk, playing tennis. Walking is so healthy for you. Eat brain food, eat food which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids which are found in wild fatty fish and walnuts. How's that? So to me... I constantly try reading, even though it does take me time to read. But there are people that can read two books a month, one book a month. I would encourage you to read, but what are you reading? Is it a novel? Is it a fantasy? Is it a horror? Or is it the Word of God? Or is it an inspiring book that was written by a Christian author? Um, Lisa Bevere really does a lot of um, amazing stories um, that are practical. So just to finish off, I'd like to say the more that you read, the more things you will know, the more that you learn, the more places you will go. Thank you for joining me today with a piece of paper. Let me know what you're currently reading or what you plan on reading in the new future. You know what to do. Thumbs up. Please subscribe, ring the notifications, and most of all, in share. Have a blessed day.